does feel like you're sitting in a, a toy, not so much a car. Very strange experience. Really strange. Will it, does it fire? Does it start it up? It should the start up. Try, just turn the key. It should go. Maybe a little bit of choke. That's it, we're away. <laughs> <laughs> can I take it for a test drive? Of course you can. Chuck's away. Brilliant. Well, it's just one word for this little car, and that is terrifying. <laughs> hard to give this car a rational road test because it comes from the austerity period just after the war when people would do anything to get in a car. This was a step up from a motorbike and sidecar. This car does feel incredibly small. It's only three metres long by about a metre wide at its widest point, which is the front wheels. Intimidating every time a lorry, car, anything comes past me, it sort of wanders around the road a bit. It's a little bit scary, but it's okay. The engine revs well, the brakes well, they sort of work, they do stop the car. The steering is a bit scary, but it does work. And the engine is kind of peppy, and everything does seem all right, even the switch gear works. The bits that need doing, I've changed the paint. I'll do something with this canopy because it's not very nice and it definitely needs tidying up on the interior. So although this does seem like a sorted little classic, there's still plenty of work to do.